So the doctor said, take two tablets and call me when you... Microjig, maker of the gripper. Work safer, work smarter. This adjustable desktop photo frame also doubles as a stand for a tablet or a phone. Since the frame isn't all that large, I think it'll look a little less bulky if I plane this board down to a half inch thick. I'm keeping the picture frame really simple by making all of the strips just an inch wide. I use my miter sled to cut the 45 degree angles. I'm cutting rabbits to hold the picture and the glass. I'm slightly rounding over all the edges. I'm taping two boards together so I can cut both of the legs at the same time. I'm drilling a quarter inch hole all the way through both of these. And I'll give a quick round over to the edges of these legs. I need to figure out how to drill the holes through the sides of this so that it'll tilt properly. I think I'm going to raise it up about a quarter of an inch. Drilling those holes in the same spot on each side of this frame is going to be a little tricky. If I had thought this through, I would have drilled them before I assembled this. I've clamped a stop block on this side of my fence and I'm just going to clamp everything else in place. The trick is just to keep this as square and vertical as possible. Now I'll flip it around and do the other side. The drill bit I'm using for these holes is a little bit smaller than the quarter inch. I'm gonna cut some threads inside of that hole using this bolt. Okay, I can see it's starting to come out the other side. So all I need to do now is just back it on out. I'm using quarter inch plywood for the backer board and eighth inch plexiglass. I'll glue on this little ledge. And once that spray lacquer is dried, I can screw in these threaded rods. I'm going to attach a washer onto each of these. And then I can put the leg on. These are called star knobs. I picked them up at the hardware store. I had a viewer send me this point driver for picture frames. I think this makes a great gift idea. It would be great for a coworker. Maybe you've got an office secret Santa gift exchange coming up. I wanna give a special shout out and a big thank you to longtime friend of the show, Bill Wilson, who gave me the idea for today's project. He's one of the hardest working woodworkers I know and has come up with lots of ideas for woodworking for mere mortals. Thanks again, Bill. I really appreciate your support. And I wanna thank all of you for watching Woodworking for Mere Mortals. I have new woodworking videos on this channel every Friday. And if you would like to download a free set of plans for today's project, check down in the description for a link. I'd also like to remind you to please share your projects over at the Woodworking for Mere Mortals Facebook page. And don't forget, I tweet at Mere Mortals WW. Thanks everybody else. See you next week. Hi everybody, I'm Tim and I am a card carrying Mimo from Bakersfield.